Complacency, the art of self-sabotage. Welcome to this week's edition of Friday's Food for Thought by Reverse Focus. Like a fog rolling in silently, complacency can quietly invade our lives. And before you know it, we can find ourselves hindered by a false sense of contentment and satisfaction. The problem is that we own our own careers and our lives. Even as an employee not owning a company, we must own our own career. Now I've often found that complacency is a side effect of routine. And I love routine, systems, and a measured way of doing things, so I must personally be on guard. Now here are a few ways that we can get ourselves back on track. First, accept a healthy dose of dissatisfaction. It is truly a balancing act of contentment and gratitude versus being settled. Now, seeing the bigger opportunity is often a sure way to find a healthy dose of discontentment. Second, build relationships. My son recently secured a job after graduating from college. Now, how'd he do it? Networking and relationships. In fact, I told him it's not what you know, but who you know. Build your network strategically with those who can stretch you professionally or even those who possess skills that you lack. Third, develop your professional skills. Now, perhaps it's gaining a certification, working with financial professionals, or diligently staying up to date on our industry's news. Constant change requires constant development. Fourth, be a problem solver. As I like to say, don't curse the darkness, but light a candle. Find ways that you can solve issues within your own company or your personal practice. As you present solutions, you not only improve your present situation, but you build your value to the company or lender, or even better yet, your borrowers. Fifth, measure your results. The daily grind of origination can leave us with little time to track our performance. Regardless, we must first measure results before we can improve them. So look to your call to appointment or proposal to application and application to funding ratios. Here is where you can exercise your problem solving skills. Sixth, believe. You must believe in your business, the industry, and your abilities before you can move yourself from complacency. Now, in what ways do you overcome complacency? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and have a great weekend.